Hi everyone, I'm Lynn, and I've been thinking about what makes us happy. And I was thinking a really nice story cuddled up with the people that we care about would be a lovely idea. So how about you go and grab some people that you want to come and have a story with and together we'll read one of my favourite stories. Are you ready? So today I'm going to read you Giraffes Can't Dance and it's by Giles Andre. Here we go. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim. His knees were awfully bendy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots of trees. But when he tried to run around, his knees buckled. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance. Every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing he was really rather bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced the tango which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did the cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons they teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor but the lion saw him coming and soon began to roar. Gerald! The animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool! Oh Gerald, don't be daft! Gerald simply froze. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. He crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up to the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. <coughs> Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when, when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is the branches in the breeze. So... Imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling making circles <laughs> on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, 
His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then, one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle! We must be in a dream! Gerald's the best dancer that we have ever seen! How is it that you can dance like that? Please Gerald tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. So that was Giraffes Can't Dance. I really hope you like the story and that you have a great weekend and that you do things that you like. Speak to you later. Bye. <laughs>